This video is not meant for children and is brought to you by support from Patreon. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Elix, and this is Battletech Pirate Career. And we are right back, we left off here on the Tournament of Champions. Urban Max. Urban Max as far as the eye can see, and that's all we get. Roger that, Commander. So, let's head out and start, uh, trash, magic trash canning this, uh, pile of enemies. Look at them, aren't they so cute? Limpet and his Limpet Saito and his brother Jake are our targets. I think we're just now getting into range, or not range? Uh, well, sen sensor range. Your attention, please. We have a latecomer in route to join the tournament. Consider her a wild card, if you will. When her drop pod hits the ground, I expect that she'll attempt to butcher all the lot of you. I advise you to deny her the opportunity. Kill her before she kills you. I was so tempted to do, like, a Zap Brannigan for this guy, but, uh... Eh, we'll, we'll see. There's those guys. Hey, hey, those guys. I hear ya. Coordinates received. I'm rolling. I don't want to stay on these ramps, at least for now. Yep. You can play catch up. All right, full speed. Heads up, Commander. That drop pod must belong to the wild card contestant that Hovat warned us about. Very perspective, Ms. Meyer. I caught this young lady snooping around the tournament ground. She claims uh, that I'm responsible for the death of her father. You are responsible, you son of a bitch. And by my hand, he will be avenged. I admire your grit, Ms. Jones. But let's see if you... But you want a shot at me? You'll need to fight your way out of the arena first. Kill or be killed. Let the games continue. Okay. So we're gonna hug this building to have to not open ourselves up to open fire as they round the corner. But I will sensor lock the front one. Sensor lock on target. Hey, there we go, that's Saito. Next guy must be Jake. Excellent. Ah, and he must be shooting at Alexa. Good to go. Okay, again, we're going to just line up here to make them have to come out further so we can shoot them. What are your orders, Skipper? Affirmative, Commander. What do you need? I need a clear firing solution. That's what I need. Should be able to get it next turn. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right. Let's go take out your big gun arm. That seems to be the wise decision. Call shot, right arm. Good job. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah? Decision strike. Jake. Arm. 
go. There we go. I forgot she had breaching shot. So glad she does now. Open fire. Oh, miss shot. That's unfortunate. Can I jump into a better position? No. I'll sprint to get up closer. Mm. Never mind then. There's no real good solution. Copy that, Commander. There we go. Critical hit. What is she shooting at? Okay. We definitely want to save on the uh, Ultra Auto Cannon ammo. So, physical attack and small laser, go. Come on. If he's ever being a crazy pants, you need to stop. What can I do for you? Ready to rock. Apocalypse, I need you to precision strike this guy in the arm. Take that arm off, please. Copy that. Thank you very much. You're so good at this. Nice. Got past the armor. You did. You really did. And now we can all just Punch and kick these guys to death using our and using our melee powers and small lasers. Help increase our survivability that way. Some some other people are duking it out over there. I don't know what's going on, but we'll take care of it. I hear ya. And zap. There we go. Confirmed. Pho Phobia, I need you to move. Not, not. Move. There we go. Acknowledge, Commander. Turn that off. Just laser him. We need to conserve these really good shots. These guys are just down to little crappy guns, and that's fine. Engaging physical attack. My master's would-be assassin has fallen, but still she lives. Her ejection pod saved her, but for how long? Okay, cool. So, that guy took her out. Cool. I, I can't say that I give a crap. On my way. There we go. That's the brother. Beautiful. Did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah. There you go. Good morning. You're in for more of the same, my friend. Four on one is not a position yep. you really want to find yourself in. Understood. Targeting for physical attack. Oh, you lost your other gun. All you have left is bashing your head on stuff. And running away, of course. Yep, and then zapping. There we go. Reporting. Serious armor 
Okay. Orders. Apocalypse, if you could. Confirmed. Then do I get a breaching shot with this? That'd be great. Nah. Okay, it's fine. Waiting for orders. I read you, Commander. Moving out. This is gonna be good. Confirmed. There we go. Side torso. He's wobbly. He's hurt. Breaking off more bits and pieces. There we go. Right leg destroyed. Knocked down. His initiative is knocked back. And we can start targeting his legs. Miss? Really? I may need some more time in the simulator. Yep. <laughs> I mean, Phobia just agrees. For the people of Frunk, sleep easy. The brothers Saito are dead. Guess we're gonna have to take out that guy too, I guess. Moving to position. What can I do for you? Well, right now, head towards our enemy. Enemies, apparently. What do you need? Firing solutions? Behold, Commander Series, the stalking predators reveal themselves. You've got that right, Professor. I'm Bullet I'm Basilisk Johnson, the meanest mech jock on this plan on this or any other planet. I'm gonna put these fools in the ground. Whispers Argnos. Wow, I don't know about you, but I'm quaking in my boots. Let's light him up. Alright. I hear ya. I'm slightly worried about the guy who's got the elevated position on us. Don't need to tell me twice. But not terribly worried. All right, and he missed. Great. Confirmed. Copy that. Hmm. Let's try taking that leg off. There we go. That helps. And everyone else can just do, uh, oh yeah, do precision shot. Oh no, we don't need to. Free precision shots, just take off that other leg. Alright. Leg. There we go. Enemy mech destroyed. Good to go. You betcha. We'll just brace that. Wait for him to come down. Yep. 
Roger. Precision strike. This guy. Leg. Yeah, bracing shot ignores guarded. I'm so glad I brought you. He's guarded. So that's fine. Can I jump up there? It'd be nice if I could get up. Like I can jump over this building. Why can't I jump onto this building? Oh well. This will sneak around this way. Got it. Ish. Uh, I guess I would need you to continue precision striking this guy. Uh, let's just corm out to the chest. There you go. Got his left arm. He's finally moving. Good. Go team, precision strike. Engaging target. No damage detected. Waiting on you, Commander. We got ourselves into a little plaza back there, so that's not where we needed to be. Confirmed. I'm here. More precision shot for the person with breaching shot. Let's go for that shoulder. Take that big gun off. There we go. Pilot injury. Good job, my friend. Very good job. There we go. Side torso destroyed. Pilot injured. What can I do for you? And if we can maybe take his legs out, that'd be fantastic. Don't need to tell me twice. Oh, well, now I can be on top of a building. Standing by. There he goes. Behold, Professor Basilisk Johnson and his silent partner are down. Their battle mechs shattered, their bodies torn to bloody rags. It's glorious, Giante. A display fit for a king. That guy was really kind of lame sitting up there, so sorry, guys. Well done, Commander Series. Very well done indeed. You have taken this round and vanquished your foes. I haven't tapped out yet, Horvat. You'll need to. You'll never hear me yield. You don't need to yield. You've lost, and you'll be spending the remainder of this tournament in a holding cell. Thank you, Giante. To this round's victors, I invite you to bask in your triumph and prepare for yourselves. Tomorrow you face the ultimate challenge. Tomorrow your true test begins. Alright, we made no money so far, but we also paid no damages, so we're good. And we can take home a bunch of chunks. Cool. Oh, look at that, we got an urban mech. 
Don't let the stubby Irby fool you. It may look like a walking trash can, but it can mount a heavy armor and grown-up sized autocannon. R60s aren't known for their speed, but they are very useful and can draw enemy into their firing range. We're going to need to do some mech repairs. Really? No. We're, gonna, we're just going to put them into storage. Thanks. Turn of Champions 2, high over it, over Clough's stand. So far, so good, boss. I think we could win with this tournament. So far, so good. Yang, the whole tournament is po is positively mental. Horvat and his cronies are throwing up more red flags than a Cretan military parade. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here, right? You all get how ridiculous this is. No arguments here, Doc. Horvat's a lunatic. Our fellow competitors aren't much better. Speak of the devil, we're getting a secure call from inside Horvat's castle. It's Jackhammer. You remember the I'm gonna avenge my father lady? The one that Giante threw into a cell after the match? I'm surprised they let her have access to the comms. Put her on the screen. Commander Series, I wasn't sure you'd pick up. I need to keep this brief. If Hovat catches me making this sub, uh, over the subdermal mic, he'll probably put a spear through my chest. But I'm taking a risk because we need to talk. My father is alive and well on Lemmington. The whole avenge shtick is just a cover story. The truth is, I'm an undercover operative with the Mio, and I'm here to investigate Hovat's crimes against Davian commercial interest. He's a pirate, in case you haven't figured that out. He also wants to marry his fur coat. You've got a good reason why we should care. The Tournament of Champions is a sham. The whole circus is just a sick joke that Hovat uses to sniff out highly skilled, morally flexible mech warriors. He reserves uh, strength and wants to surround himself with it, but his standards are possibly high. The second round of the tournament is a trap. If you're good enough to push through and win anyway, the professor will show shower you in blood money to buy your friendship. If he finds you wanting, he'll kill you for sport. Will he use a spear? He uses whatever he damn well pleases. He's a pirate. He doesn't pay by play anyone's rules, especially not his own. The professor has been running this contest for years. In all that time, only one actual winner has been uh, Kalmar Gignate. Everyone else, and we're talking hundreds of contestants here, have mysteriously disappeared. And if you let your mech warriors compete again, he'll make them disappear too. Okay, so I'm getting that our options aren't great. They really, really aren't. But fortunate for you, I'm here, and I'm authorized to offer you an alternative. House Davian has granted me the authority to draft a kill order for Professor Manius Hovart. I'd like your company to carry out the contract. Let's see. Give me the deals I'm listening, or I don't know. I kind of prefer the hit of fighting my way onto his payroll. Well, I am a pirate, but there's uh, there are pirates, and then there are pirates, if you know what I mean. Give me the details. Besides, with fewer big pirates out there, less competition for me. Ha ha ha. I want you to break up the rule, break the rules of the tournament tomorrow. Instead of piloting a couple of busted up old derbies, uh, you'll drop in your heaviest lance right on his head. And when the kill has been confirmed, I'll transfer 250,000 sea bills into your company's account. You'll also have thanks to the Federated Sons, and of course House Davian does not forget its friends. A quarter mil thanks to House Davian, huh? I'm no mathematician, but it feels a lot less than an actual million that Hovart's offering. And reputation is nice and all, but it doesn't keep our company in the black. You don't get the prize purse unless you win, and you won't win. That's what I've been telling you. He'll cheat. He'll kill your mech warriors. You'll walk away with nothing. Even if you do somehow manage to beat him, you won't like what happens next. He'll pay you, sure, but cozying up to Hovat will land you in the shit list of every pirate-hating client in the galaxy. That means everyone, the successor states, the periphery powers, you name it. Nobody likes a pirate. But I'm already a pirate. Oh. We're except Mio's operatives to eliminate him. Good choice, Commander. Good choice. I'll take the field myself and join you, but something tells me I'm stuck in this cage until the fight is over. Do me a favor and win this thing. I'll make the whole debacle worth your while. Alright. First off, mech warriors. Phobia. Confirmed. Not enough to get you better, but that's fine. Mech bay. Mechs, are you... Uh, the mechs I like. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Tournament of Champions 2. Alright. Me. Unicorn. Apocalypse. 
bell keg. That's Apocalypse's multi laser. This is my hyperly precise large laser. PPC for Unicorn. And. Not our Banshee. We want the Bull Shark for Bell Keg. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Let's deploy. And let me, Professor uh, Hovart. Professor Hovart is waiting for you in the tournament arena. He expects you to play by his rules, to let to let him lead a pair of your mech warriors like lambs to the slaughter. Instead, you're going to show him the kind of firepower that your company really brings down. Destroy him, and the Mio will reward you accordingly. She got through the entire briefing without saying the hunter becomes the hunted. I'm pleasantly surprised. Command interface initiated. So, Maester, you've elected to violate the rules of the tournament. You've decided to kill me, perhaps. Take the, on the great hunter in his den. Something like that. What a welcome diversion it is! Truly glorious! I had intended to challenge your mech warriors with a tournament that was finished, as is my custom, to put them to the final test. Instead, we've proven me the full lance of quarry to hunt. Down and slaughter. We'll enjoy this, won't we, Giante? As you say, Professor Hovart... When we And when we enter the arena, I will personally rend these overconfident fools limb from quivering limb. There you have it, Commander. Something to look forward to. Between now and then, I present you with the remaining contestants of the Tournament of Champions. I'm sure they'll keep you occupied until our drop pod arrives. I thought I saw someone off to the right. Anyway... Here's where I'm going to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, you know what to do, and that's the usual YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share. It's all free, and it really helps me out, and I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, I shall see you all on the next one.